Hi everyone, I am Arundhati and welcome to Yarn Stitch Color. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful and colorful bunting. You can use this to decorate your gardens, homes or balconies or wherever you like. It is a very simple bunting that can be made easily within no time. It's a granny triangle and then we have some scallops on the border and we've joined here. So while joining this also I'm going to show you a very easy and quick method about how to make this and you can just tie it wherever you like. I have not put the ends in yet so you can see this hanging but yeah so you can just tie it to a nail or wherever you like. So let's begin and see how to make this bunting. To make this granny triangle we will be using a magic circle in the center, some double crochets, chains and slip stitches. So because this tutorial is more about how to make the whole thing I will not be going very slow with the stitches but I am going to leave links in the description box as well as give you links here on the top to see how to make a magic circle or how to do a double crochet. If you are an absolute beginner you can refer to those tutorials or links but if you are a beginner you will be easily able to follow. We will begin with a magic circle. I will go slow but in case if you are an absolute beginner please re refer to the links. So that's how we make a magic circle. We insert our hook here, pull this yarn and chain 3. Then yarn over, insert, pull over yarn over pull through 2 and yarn over pull through 2 so we made a double crochet there we will make it once more now chain 3 now we will place 4 double crochets in the same circle 1 2 3 and 4 chain 3 place another set of 4 double crochets in the same circle That's two, three, and four. Now chain three and join to the top of this beginning chain three, join to the top to this stitch with a slip stitch. That's the top of the chain, the beginning chain, pull and pull through. So we join with a slip stitch. Now just pull a little longish loop and remember this tail from uh, the magic circle, we pull it. Okay, so once we pull it, the center becomes small like this and a triangular shape starts to appear. So here I will want to clarify and focus on the fact that we made a, a magic circle here then did a chain 3 and did only two double crochets. Then we did a chain 3 and we did four double crochets. Chain 3 and four double crochets. So this triangle shape is formed by three here and four on either sides. So for us to easily remember and ensure that 
uh, we make in the same way so that always the triangle shape is maintained it's best to place two markers to signify that the center has three double crochets or a chain three and three dub two double crochets okay so this part will always have three these two will have four so we have joined with a slip stitch to the starting chain and now let's move further now I'm going to slip stitch our way into these two uh, stitches and I'll slip stitch our way to this space the corner one okay some people also start from here and I don't want to do that because it gives a skewed look so let's make a slip stitch here so we insert and make a slip we insert yarn over pull pull through make a slip stitch okay now you are at this corner so at this corner insert make a slip stitch and now begin with chain 3 now we will place two double crochets in the same space okay chain 3 1 2 3 and I'm going to push the marker here and we will place four double crochets now so 1 2 3 so I missed a yarn that's 3 and 4 we will take a moment here to quickly understand what we did this is our triangle shape right here we did 3 so along this edge between the markers we will always do three and this edge and this edge we will always do four okay so three here and four on both the edges all right so don't be confused and don't remember to uh, sorry remember to make an extra one along both these edges only then we will get a good triangle shape so now I'm going to place four double crochets here, chain three, four double here. And between the four double crochets, I'm not doing a chain one. If you feel your tension is too tight, the stitch tension, then you can make a, a chain one, but actually it's not required. Okay, so I've made four double crochets chain three and four double crochets now yarn over and we've reached this corner so when we've reached here we will again do four double crochets before the marker so one I think the yarn is splitting a bit. Three and four. Then do chain three 
push the marker and in the same space we will do a three double crochet that's the corner two and three now we will there is no need to make a chain one we will directly be joining here to the top of the chain three so the third chain we will be joining with a slip stitch okay this is how it starts to look like now I am going to move this stitch marker I removed it from there I am going to place it in the space above so I am going to essentially just move it from here to here okay. move it up from here to here because in the next row too we have to make chain 3 along Oh, sorry uh, three double crochet along this row okay so you can make the triangle as big as you want now, right now we will make uh, one more row together so now I'm going to slip stitch my way to the corner space to this space so slip slip one more slip and I'm in the corner space now chain 3 place two double crochets chain 3 push the marker here place four double crochets So I made two more rows this is quite a colorful yarn so I was in two minds whether I should use this yarn for the tutorial or not but then I thought if I show in a different color from this it might get even more confusing and also I wanted to show how nice and colorful it looks even if you are a beginner and know only how to do a double crochet in a, a magic circle you can still make something as colorful as this by simply using a variegated yarn so I hope I was able to do justice to this tutorial so these are our stitch markers okay easy thing to remember is wherever you've made three in the beginning along that edge you always make three so that is uh, chain three and two double crochets and then always just three three double crochets along this and this edge we will always make four double crochets and chain three only on the corners okay that is all there is to making the triangle now I'm I finished with a row four because I just wanted this big if you want a larger one you can continue doing the same thing over and over I am going to join with a slip stitch and I am going to slip stitch my way to the corner just to keep it all even okay then chain one pull it tight and cut the yarn with a little tail and pull it out
now we have finished the colorful part of the triangle now we will make this border with scallops okay for that i am using a white colored yarn make a slip knot and place it over your hook now you can attach this along this edge okay you can attach it anywhere along this edge between the set of three double crochets so i'm going to attach it here insert the hook insert the hook yarn over and pull and pull through this that's a easy way of attaching with a slip stitch now do chain 3 and place two double crochets in the same space now chain 1 and place another set of three double crochets in the next space continue making the same thing till this corner now in the corner where we had this stitch marker I did not move it up but you can if you want to so that's the corner there are lots of squirrels and birds in the garden so you can hear all this noise place three double crochets there okay and if you've moved the marker up then you put the marker here let me just do it so it's easy for everyone so we place the marker there and that signifies the last of three double crochets along this edge here so when we go back here we are still going to do those three double crochets okay just for this part and I'm informing so because here I have made a certain size of triangle if you make larger ones you should know that till the edge you have to continue making three double crochets along this edge till the corner okay now after the marker we will place five double crochets sorry we will first do a chain three okay after the marker we will first do a chain three because that's the corner and then place five double crochets that was one two three four and five sorry I think I went out of focus so these are five double crochets in the corner space now we will place a slip stitch here you remember these four double crochets that we were doing along the edge the left and right edge in that in between the two we will place a slip stitch so just insert in between yarn over and pull up and pull through then yarn over and you see this next space between the two sets of four double crochets place five double crochet there so one two three four and five This is how it starts to look like. 
I will also show it to you on this piece. So we join the yarn here somewhere. We did chain 3, 2 double crochets in the same space. Chain 1, 3, chain 1, 3, chain 1, 3 and on the corner we did chain 3 here. Then we did 5 in the same corner space. Then we did a slip stitch between the 4. So after 2 we did a slip stitch. Then we did a 5 double crochet in the next uh, space and that space is between the 2 sets of 4 double crochets. We will continue doing that till the end of this edge. Here we are not going to do any chains. After we did the slip stitch here we will do 9 double crochets slip stitch continue placing 5 double crochets in the space between the two sets of 4 double crochets with a slip stitch in between the 4 double crochets ok so once you get a hang of it the rhythm is quite soothing so that's how we will be making it if you want to make smaller or larger just remember this So now here we have finished, we are here, okay? We are here. So that's the corner and one. So we finished the corner and one. Now we will continue till here and I will place nine double crochets here. So I finished that and always remember to anchor your scallop with a slip stitch here. That slip stitches between the. Is this clear? Let me just. Okay. Remember to anchor it like this between the four stitches. Okay. Now we are at the end and we are going to join with a slip stitch so we finish the three double crochets we will do a chain one and then join with a slip stitch here do a chain one pull it tight just to ensure it is all tight and nice and then give it a good tug that's how it starts to look like you can cut the yarn and pull it out so this is how it looks if you have a blocking board or if you can block please go ahead and block it so that you know it stays nice and firm make as many as you want of these buntings oh sorry of these uh, patterns to make the bunting and we will see how to join them together I have finished making all the triangles and uh, I have blocked them and the ends are also woven in now let's see how to join them and make a top band here now to begin make a slip knot place it on your hook and chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 now yarn over Insert in the first chain from the beginning, that is the fourth chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through one. That's a that's like a chain one. Yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over, 
remember this chain one that we did insert under both the loops of that chain yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and pull through two those of you who know how to make a foundation less double crochet will know how to do this I don't know where the fly has come from so yarn over insert under both the loops of that chain one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and pull through two yarn over insert under both yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through one that's like a chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two like a double crochet okay keep making a few of these so you continue making this till the uh, extent that you would like because we are going to join it here to the first uh, triangle so whatever you want on the right side which would be in a way a free side where you would you know tie it around something later on so you can make that length that you require so once you've made your desired length yarn over insert under the two loops the way we were doing earlier too pick up your triangle and insert from the back in this corner then yarn over and pull through when you pull through pull through the uh, two loops that we had inserted under those two and this corner okay then we are left with three loops on the hook yarn over chain one yarn over pull through two and pull through two to make the next one we will again yarn over insert under the two strands of the chain one insert in the top of the double crochet yarn over pull through all four let me refocus yeah pull through all four chain one yarn over pull through two pull through two yarn over insert under both the strands of chain one insert under both the strands of the next double crochet stop yarn over pull through all four you have three loops on the hook yarn over chain one yarn over pull through two and pull through two that is all we will keep doing now we are in the next chain space so yarn over insert under both of the uh, chain ones loops insert in this space yarn over and pull up pull through there those two chain one pull through two yarn over and pull through two so what we are actually doing is every time uh, that we insert and pull up we are doing a slip stitch then we do a chain one then yarn over pull through two and pull through two continue making this till here and I will show how to join the next triangle now we are at the end of the first triangle so yarn over insert under both of the chain uh, strands of the chain insert in this space yarn over and pull up pull it through those two chain one yarn over pull through two and pull through two 
okay now yarn over insert under two strands of the chain take your next triangle insert from the back okay you have inserted from the back like that then yarn over pull through so we pull through the triangle as well as those two strands of the chain yarn over chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now you can continue making the same thing on the next triangle so what we do is yarn over insert under both the strands of the chain one insert under both the stand strands of the top of double crochet yarn over pull through those through pull through these two so pull through all that's like a slip stitch chain one yarn over pull through two and pull through two so now I have finished making most of it just the last one is remaining continue making it the same way till the end that's a slip chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert into these two insert here pull up and do a slip chain one pull through two and pull through two Uh, now I will show you how to uh, take it towards the other end. One second. Okay, so here we have finished it. Now how to continue to make the other end of this uh, bunting. So insert yarn over and insert through the two loops yarn over and pull up chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert in those two loops which were formed by the chain one yarn over pull up chain one if you want you can just hold here so that when you come back you will know okay these are the two ones okay that is a easy way to identify yarn over and pull up chain one hold that chain yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert under the two loops yarn over pull up chain one yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two you can continue doing this for as long as you need the length to be on this side I'm going to match both the sides so I, on the other end also I'm going to make just as this once you've made it as long as you want and finish the last stitch you can just chain one pull it tight and cut the yarn weave in this end and your bunting will be ready so this is quite a easy way of making a bunting and joining it and you can decorate your homes gardens or balconies however you like I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will be waiting for your comments to know if you've made it and how do you like it. Thank you so much for watching.